All right, today we're starting a series on content. Content specifically online content, something you can give away for free, or something you can use to entice your customers to connect with you deeper. All right, and you may be thinking, I'm an air conditioning company, there's no way I can use content to connect people. Wrong. There's always something you can do, there's some kind of valuable information that you have that you can release, and a little bit of information that'll help customers understand that you are an expert in your industry. If they understand you're an expert in the industry, they're gonna reveal something to you. So let's say that you, um, put out a report on how to select the exact right air conditioning unit for your house. Okay, that's something valuable for the customer. Um, you ask for their email address, and in that email address, you get it, and then you send them information about picking the right style, picking the right type, picking whatever, you know, whatever it is that you use for your business, you find a way to create value based on getting information from them. You can um, exchange information for things like an address, a phone number, an email address, some kind of information you can use in your business to market to them. That's the value of content. It's kind of like what you'd call an ethical bribe. You're bribing them with something of value to them in exchange for some way you can market to them. You're connecting to them. Just like coupons, you send out a coupon and you expect the coupon to come back, that's your way of connecting the customer. The only thing with that is that's a one thing. They set it aside and it's done. Okay, when you exchange information digitally, it's something that you can repeat and you can continue to market to that customer and connect into them a little bit deeper. Okay, that builds your triangle of trust. You offer something of value, they release some information to you, then you begin to build a relationship to them. Okay, does that make sense? So if you're wondering how you could do this or how it fits into your business, go to our blog, there'll be a little blippy here. And on the blog, I'll tell you a little more information about how you can connect this content directly to your customer and how you can use that in a way to market to them to build relationships because people are gonna buy from people. And if they have a relationship with you and your company, if they have that relationship where they feel like um, they're valuable to you, then they're going to be more likely to buy from you, okay? So I'm gonna show you some little tidbits on the, on the blog page there, but I just want you to think about it. What is one piece of content you can develop, put online and offer people so you can get their email address and you can begin to communicate with them? Okay, think about those kind of things. And what kind of, let's just talk about the comments. Comment below, what, what's something you use in your business? What's a piece of content you're currently using that you would like to share with other people? Maybe they'll come up with some good ideas for you and you can come up with some good ideas for them. All right, subscribe above if you haven't done so and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.